Hey guys, hope you're all having a great week so far. So it's been a few months since I picked up my 2021 Tesla Model 3 Performance from the Delivery Center here on Oahu. And I've been getting a lot of questions as to how my Tesla compares to a regular internal combustion engine vehicle and if transitioning to a fully electric car is the right move. So if you've watched all of my previous videos, you already know that I'm blown away by this car. So I wanted to kind of take the time today to see if an electric vehicle is right for you by comparing my Tesla versus our BMW M550i, which is kind of the car we take out on the weekends. So before we get into the video, if you're enjoying the content, please don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps out with the channel to reach more people. Also, if you have any questions or points you want to know more about the Tesla Model 3, feel free to let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to address them. All right, let's get back into the video. So while my Model 3 has become my car for daily use, our M550i does still get taken out on the weekends. So let's take the two side by side and I hope by the end of the video, you'll know if going electric is the right move for you. Starting with the interior of the car, the BMW definitely feels or has a much more luxurious design and feel in comparison to the Model 3. Everything is put together really nicely from the stitching to the steering wheel to the small touchscreen. There's nothing hanging off or no open holes that you might see in the Model 3 with their quality issues. The interior seats are also much more stiff compared to the vegan leather in the Model 3 but still comfortable enough. And the steering wheel of the BMW feels very similar to the Model 3, except it does have more to it, as well as a front dash and a small screen off to the side. Now, even though the BMW feels much more luxurious and higher quality, the interior of the Model 3 is much more minimalistic and clutter-free. In my opinion, there's just a lot going on in the BMW with buttons everywhere, but in the Model 3, you have everything you need right on the stocks on the steering wheel, including drive, reverse, and park. And the ultra responsive 15 inch touchscreen centralizes everything in one spot for you. So even though the Model 3 is the smaller car, it does feel way more spacious, especially in the rear seats. The white seats and the open roof definitely amplifies the roomy feeling as well, making it feel like you're almost in a glass spaceship. And speaking of space, both cars actually have pretty decent amount of storage space. While the M550 has no frunk for obvious reasons, the Model 3 has a small frunk which can fit a small carry-on size bag or maybe a few grocery bags thanks to not having an engine under the hood. And without this engine sitting in the front, the Model 3 front hood dips down a little more than the BMW does, which I think also increases your visibility while you're driving on the roads. But that's not all. Even the Model 3 trunk is extremely spacious and you can probably fit 4 maybe push even 5 golf bags in there if you tried. The trunk even has an extra boot space which is where I usually leave my charger in and it is quite deep as well. Home charging is also made very simple and easier than many people might think. Charging a Tesla is really just like charging your phone. You simply plug it in and come back to it charged when you're ready to go. I definitely enjoy not having to make frequent stops at gas stations anymore, even more so now during this pandemic. And if your living situation doesn't allow for home charging, you can still make use of Tesla's expansive supercharger network. But charging aside, convenience is another area where the Model 3 shines. And this may sound like a really small thing, but I didn't know that not having to carry a key or a key fob could be so enjoyable. Since your phone connects to your Tesla, everything you need is right in your pocket, since most of us probably don't even go anywhere without their phones to begin with anyway. You can simply walk up to your car and walk away, 
and it will unlock and lock automatically by detecting your phone. And finally, we have to talk about performance in driving. Owning an electric car also means that you now experience instant torque and that gut-wrenching speed you always wanted. While the BMW does have an impressive 523 horsepower and 3.6 seconds 0 to 60, when you think about the price coming out of your pocket, I feel that the Model 3 performance has much more value for its cost. While the M550i starts around $77,000, the Model 3 performance sits at $55,000 with a top speed of 162 miles per hour and a 3.1 second 0 60, all while having a smart key, blind spot detection, forward collision warning, regen braking, an extraordinary infotainment system, and a premium audio system, all with an 8 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty as well. Now of course, the M550i does include a lot of these features as well, but the instantaneous power that you feel driving from the dual motor Model 3 really sits above any premium ICE vehicle. Not only is this car quick, but the National Highway Traffic Safety Association has given the Model 3 yet another 5 star overall safety rating, making it one of the sa safest cars to drive on the road today. And as we're talking about the driving experience as a whole, we do have to mention Tesla's auto autopilot feature, which is the enormous competitive advantage that Teslas have over the entire auto industry. All Tesla Model 3s now come with standard pilot included, which includes auto steer, maintaining acceleration at any set speed, and maintaining a safe distance between you and the vehicle in front of you, even coming to a full stop. And while I did opt out of the FSD capability, I do see tremendous value in it. And I think this is what makes a Tesla a Tesla. FSD now includes auto lane change, auto park, summon, traffic light and stop sign control, and as Elon promised coming later this year, auto steer on streets with no human inter intervention. So with your purchase of your Tesla, if you opt into the FSD package, you're really buying a premium luxury vehicle with what's possibly the smartest, most technologically advanced computer in any vehicle. I'm really excited to see how FST progresses as it gets released to the public this year, and I do plan on testing it out once the subscription software is released to the public, so more on that to come on a future video. But I hope that gives you a good idea of what it's like to own a Tesla Model 3 and take the leap of going fully electric. Let me know in the comments below if you found these helpful, if not, I also welcome any feedback. But if you want to see more content like this, Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.